Hello friends, today is a beautiful morning over here. It's sunny and bright and we'll have our recipe for today. As I had shared earlier, we are going to make a plant-based cake. It's vegan, it's health reformed. All things natural, the oil, the flour, the sweeteners, everything is plant-based and it's safe for your health. This recipe we are focusing on health, doing things that are healthy, not on replacing the things that you don't use like eggs, sugar and raising agents. And we'll go to our ingredients which are simple and readily available and they are We have dates, we'll use a cup of dates, we'll remove the seeds and mix them into our recipe. We have raisins, they are fresh, you can decide to soak them prior. We have groundnuts, they have been roasted and grounded. You can use walnuts, pecans, here we have oatmeal flour. I didn't have a flour prior so I just took my oats and I grinded them to flour and here we have the flour. We have whole wheat flour to my gluten free friends. I have something prepared for you. We have honey in two portions, one for activating the yeast and the other one for mixing with our banana. Here we have pink salt, yeast. I'll show a recipe with baking powder as well. And there we have coconut oil. Here we have bananas which will act as our egg replacer and now warm water in a large bowl. So we'll begin by adding one tablespoon of honey and our yeast. You'll find the full ingredients, the exact ingredients in the description box. So we're mixing the warm water and the yeast and the honey and we'll allow it to sit as we mix the other ingredients. We expect this to bubble and so as it's resting mash your banana in a separate bowl until it's creamy don't worry about the small lumps that will remain bananas are rich in potassium they're also very high in fiber if you've noticed they are my best fruits here we are adding coconut oil it's melted as you can see and next we'll have a third a cup of honey at the end i noticed that the um the cake was quite sugary especially now when you've left it after one day it's quite sugary and concentrated so you can see to toning down on the sweeteners com considering you're using dates and raisins with a, which are very sugary and also bananas put this mixture aside and in a separate bowl mix your dry ingredients here we have one and a half a cup of oat wheat flour one and a half a cup of oat flour we are mixing our fruits here we have groundnuts and now our dry fruits. I will advise you as you're making this recipe, you soak them prior. If you wish, you can blend them and mix them together with the banana, the wet ingredients. It's up to you. Yes. Raisins and dates are very rich in iron and they are natural sweeteners. They're very, very sweet. The cake was extremely sweet. It was too sweet for me. I think next time I'll tone down on the the dried fruits or rather the honey. It's really up to you. Here we have our yeast mixture. It has bubbled. Now add your banana and oil and honey and mix evenly. Remember we are using yeast and so this cake will have to eat it after one day to prevent uh, fungal infections like candidiasis, feet fungus, the head fungus, and issues that come with fermentation because of yeast that is still active. 
yes slowly add the flour as you mix until all the flour is used we are looking for a thick consistency like that of mashed avocado it's not so runny it's not quite thick yes meanwhile preheat your oven at a temperature of 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius for five minutes you also um, oil your baking pan or your mold whatever you're going to use in this case I was able to acquire parchment paper so I have put a parchment paper in my my baking pan and I've transferred the dough already I'm now shaping the top and I'll allow this to bake in the oven for 15 minutes then I'll reduce the temperature remember we don't want something hard like bread we want it to be a bit soft so we'll reduce the temperature to 325 or 150 degrees celsius and bake it for 30 to 40 minutes and here we have our cake it is 12 hours out of the oven i'm just cutting it to show you how the inside looks like it's not dense it's not like cement it's soft inside it's nice so i'll eat this after one day I already tested it I made this a few days ago and it's beautiful it's sweet it's extremely sweet if you cannot cope with the sweetness um, tone down on the honey and the fruits yes and remember to eat to the glory of God remember to be a channel of light wherever God has placed you God really depends on you yeah really desire to see your feedback if you like this recipe remember to give it a like for more videos subscribe bye see you next week